Hello, happy new day. Welcome back to this session. Welcome back to this channel overall. I wanted to do a really quick video. I wanted to go in my office to film this, but I am in the process of getting dressed and I feel like sometimes that stands in the way of videos. You always wanted to make sure um, you're in the right spot, the right lighting. So everything could be off on this video, but hopefully the message is on time as I get ready. Um, first and foremost, um, actually headed out um, as I'm going out, just wearing my gold uh, jewelry. I've said it before, um, I love gold pieces. Um, they, la they last the test of time. And plus I'm allergic to go uh, items that are not real. Um, I'm wearing this Antonio Milani and hopefully, let's see, I'll, I'll maybe have to insert, I'll tell you that won't be right. I'll have to insert some type of video of this dress. It's a beautiful cream dress. I am pairing it with uh, some gold pumps and a gold bag. So that's it for the fashion <laughs> side of it. Um, but I just wanted to come on and just talk about, because right now, you know, honestly, I've, I've been hearing, I've been listening to a lot of people talk about the crisis that's happening. And we already know, and I will repeat it right now, 60% of the people are living paycheck to paycheck. Most people are, as they say, one or two paychecks from being homeless. People are not in position to save money. Things is happening. Inflation is incurring. There's so much, there's so much that's happening right now. However, I just feel like, and I'll always, if you know me, I'm gonna always go back to the basics, you know, of what you should honestly do. I just believe um, a frugal life is a fruitful life. So there's nothing wrong with being frugal. There is nothing wrong. I gotta make these disclaimers. You know, there's nothing wrong with, um, and let's say on the budget side of it, there's nothing wrong, I will tell you, with having a budget. People always say they're restricting, don't want a budget, I want to enjoy my money. There's nothing wrong with that. These are things, frugality and having a budget. These are two things. Oh, and also just being consistent and patient. These are some of the things that will help you to weather any storm how do you weather a financial storm first and foremost you have to know that you are in a storm you know if you don't know you're in the midst of a of a storm if you don't know those statistics that are surrounding you right now if you don't know the impact that those statistics that i re mentioned have on you then guess what the storm could possibly take you over however i'm making this video really quickly because i do not want it to take anybody over especially anyone that's listening that's a part of these sessions you should not allow it there's just some simple things that you got to do number one have a financial vision for your life have a vision do not worry about what's happening create a vision for yourself and not only create it you have to believe it most people are like why is manifestation not working for me because these are things you want but it, these are not things that you believe will happen to people like you and i totally understand because most times and i, I always hate to bring the negative but when i do bring the negative to you i will bring the positive you know most times for people that look like me there's a lot of negativity there's negativity in the corporate world there's negativity in the business world there's negativity just going to the grocery store. There's so much negativity. However, in a world full of negativity, there has to be the light of positivity. And who's that light? That is you. So regardless of your circumstances, regardless of the things that are trying to attack you, you still have to have a clear, concise vision for your life. That's just number one. Number two, you must adhere to a budget. I didn't say have a budget. I said adhere to it. See, most times what I'm finding is that a lot of people do not adhere to a budget. They'll say, oh yeah, I have a budget. And then when you look at it, the problem is they haven't been adhering to it. Adhering, adhering to a budget means that you are sticking to it. You are sticking it out. See, if your budget is telling you, you have to stop with all the entertainment extra spending for the month, then you listen to it. If your budget tells you you have extra to do that, then that's fine. But if your budget is telling you no, money is assigned here, this place, then you have to assign it in those places and you have to see it through. See, a budget is just a navigation system. If you want it simple, it's a navigation system. It will help you navigate through your life financially. And thirdly, I can't, look, faith. 
I'm here to talk about fashion finances and faith. And if you don't have any faith, then I don't know, maybe maybe you want to go somewhere else because I'm going to speak about it. Why? Because I would never be here before you. I would never exist in this world without my faith, without believing that I serve a positive, powerful, motivating force. You have to have faith. You have to build your faith, not one day, not two days, but every day. Every day must be a faith building process. You must be doing things to grow your faith. That could be reading. That could be writing in your gratitude journal. That could be listening to positive motivating messages like these. I got to digress <laughs> and take a breath. I'm trying to rush this message because I feel there's a sense of urgency. So hopefully this message helps someone Hopefully, there's something that you can use. I'm going to hopefully uh, insert or like I told you, maybe not insert because this video is just, I know, all over the place. But uh, close out with just uh, outfit for those of you that are here for the, uh, the fashion part of it. So thank you for tuning in. Have a beautiful, blessed new day. Hasta luego.